Okay, <clears throat> let's consider this problem. Uh, we're given a semi-elliptical bridge. Uh, Uh, over the span for a highway. It says the top of the arch 20 feet above ground level uh, is 20 feet above the ground level. That's above the major axis. Uh, and then it goes on to give us a whole bunch of information that is utterly and completely pointless. It has nothing to do with the problem. Um, because what we have here uh, is we have our ellipse. That's the kind of cross section side view of the arch. Uh, and we know that the arch uh, is 20 feet uh, above the center. Okay, and then we also know that 28 feet away from the center, uh, the height is 13 feet. All that stuff about the four lanes and all that junk has nothing to do with the problem. Uh, the arch, it's not elliptical all the way through like you're making a whispering gallery or some weird thing like that. Uh, this is the arch is just the side view. So we have our equation. Uh, again, if we put our center at zero zero, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one. And now we're told in this problem that it's uh, twenty feet. The top is twenty feet above the center. So we're actually told what b is. Uh, and then because we're given a point, we have an x and y. So for us to find the span of the bridge, the gap from one end to the other, we just need to figure out what a is. Well, since we know what b is, and we have an x and y value, we know three of those four things in our equation here. We should plug those in and then solve for a. And then once we have a, that'll be the distance from the center out to the end. So that'll be this distance and then we'll just need to double it. And so it's fairly straightforward now at this point. Uh, 28 squared over a squared, that's the x value, over a squared we don't know, plus 13 squared over b squared, which was given to us. And then it's just a matter of uh, solving the problem. It's now just a matter of uh, solving the problem. So we just solve that equation uh, for A. Uh, and when I did that, I get 28 squared over A squared was equal to 0.5775. Okay, I did that by taking 13 squared over 20 squared, subtracted that from 1. Uh, and then finally now solve this equation for A. So I can bring the a squared over, divide by that 0.5775, uh, and then I can take the square root of that answer. When I do that, I get a equals 36.85. And then when we double that, we get that 2a, or the width of the arch, or the span of the bridge, is 73.69 feet. Okay. So again, we're just using that equation here of the ellipse, taking the information that we have, putting it into the problem, and then solving uh, for what is unknown. Okay, so that's the idea. Till next time.